Connecting to the rover via VNC on the Raspberry Pi is fairly straightforward, but there are a number of steps you need to go through in order to achieve it properly. With step one, you need to connect the wires. I like to use the uh, standard black for ground, uh, blue for transmit slash receive, and yellow for receive slash transmit. It's important to note that the transmit on the rover side connects to the receive on the Raspberry Pi side and vice versa. I connect the wires up uh, like that uh, before I put the cover on the rover. The next step is to attach our cover to our rover, keeping the cables all plugged in. Then you can plug the USB in. Once you've got all of that sitting firmly on top, the USB plugged in and those cables nice and done, you can press the power button, which is on the opposite side of the rover to the image you see here. After about 20 to 30 seconds, the rover's Wi-Fi will appear. Uh, the rover's Wi-Fi um, SSID will start with RVR, and then it will be the color of the cover that you have on your rover. Uh, the default password is Mentone 12345678 for our rovers. Once you've connected to the Wi Fi, you then open up your VNC viewer and you type in 192.168.4.1. If you've done this before, you should be able to see the icon of your last screen that you visited uh, when you were on the rover last time, uh, which is what I see there and you should be able to double click on that. Step six, just to test this, we need to open up the Thony Python uh, IDE, and that's done through the programming menu uh, of the Raspberry Pi main menu. Once you've opened it, especially the first time, setalleds.py will be uh, already there, and all you need to do is press play. Um, the Sphero SDK on the Raspberry Pi Python file uh, can be found by going to the Sphero SDK Raspberry Pi slash Python, getting started, observer LEDs. Uh, and then you should be able to run that again if you're not able to open that. If you have problems, particularly if it just sits there and runs the program and does nothing, it's probably because you've got the wires connected incorrectly.